Do we write it on our own? Oh, yeah, I'm just asking, do we write it just on our paper, like, or do we have to do it electronically? Both so way, she said it's fine. It's oh, okay. 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 It's good for you. So, depression. Okay, you have five minutes. Okay. The depreci depreciation equipment used to. Okay, so depreciation on equipment, is it direct? Okay, guys, welcome back. So I just entered the breakout room. So let's just compare your answers. So here we go. So the cost of a hard drive installed in a computer, it's a direct material. Why? Because you can easily trace out the cost of each hard drive installed in each computer. Number two, the cost of advertising in to get sound computers, users, newspaper, of course, this is selling and uh, selling and advertising, you know, advertising is because it's a selling cost under non-manufacturing cost. Third one, the wages of employees who assemble computers from components. Of course, assembly workers are in factory. So it means this is a manufacturing cost. And you can easily calculate their cost. That's why these are direct costs. Okay, they have spent eight hours on his, on an assembly, and on an assembly they just assembled hundred computer. So you can just divide that one easily. Fourth, the sales commission, of course, selling. <clears throat> the wages of assembly shop supervisor, assembly shop supervisor, right? It means. The supervisor is in the factory, factory area. So that's why it is manufacturing overhead. Six, the wages of company's accountant, company's accountant, right? They don't talk about the factory's accountant, company's accountant, administrative. And why is, is that they write it down the company's accountant? If you go to the question, it specifically mentioned that they are in single facility, Right, it means assembly shop is also there, retail store is also there. Right, so it means that concept, the small area, some portion is the factory, some portion is head office, some portion is retail area. Right, <clears throat> seventh one depreciation on equipment used to test assembled computers before. So it means this depreciation. Uh, or this test is conduct conducted inside the factory. So inside the factory equipment, so it means it belongs to manufacturing cost under direct material or direct labor or manufacturing overhead. Depreciation is always manufacturing overhead. But remember, if that equipment is, for example, depreciation of uh, AC installed in the CEO's, CEO's office, that is not manufacturing overhead, right? Depreciation of computers of, uh, for example, accounting department. An accounting department is not the factory. It is in not the factory, then it is not manufacturing overhead. It is administrative. Since it is assembled computers and because it's, it is tested inside the factory, so we call this manufacturing overhead. Eight, which is the tricky one, which is rent on the facility. So you are single. Uh, space you hired a single space right so it is a tricky one right because inside there is uh, non-manufacturing operations and inside also the manufacturing operations so then it is a combination of both right so it can be selling it can be administrative it can be manufacturing overhead why because the the you are paying a single rent you are not paying separate rent for each other so if you have the information, okay, two third is provided, is occupied by factory, then it is very easy for you to find out the manufacturing overhead part of the rent and rest of the part you can easily find out. But you know that for sure it is a combination of both. You cannot categorize 100% as manufacturing overhead or as selling or as administrative. So each one was a really tricky one. Any question? No? Okay. No.
then we have our second learning objective which is distinguish between product cost and period cost so up till now what we have studied we discussed the cost classification with respect of manufacturing and now with respect of product and period cost or with, with respect to time you can say that uh, we will talk about this later let's talk about the cost classification with respect to period cost and product cost so the product cost which include all the manufacturing cost so you can say that product cost is the name of manufacturing cost which is direct material direct labor manufacturing overhead right so direct labor cost flow because you are also studied already studied the accounting so in accounting perspective product cost has two effect of the cost of the product goes through two statements balance sheet and cost of goods sold how because when you sold what happened your sales increases that is income statement item and your inventory decreases that is your balance sheet item so two statements are sorry two statements are hit balance sheet and income statement whereas the period cost right so which you can not easily assign rather you can assign to the period okay in one month you paid salaries in one month you paid uh, you know the uh, advertising and, and administrative cost so that cost only hit income statement that's it so product cost and period cost cost definition is that the period cost only uh, you know influence or only disturb the income statement while the product cost influence the balance sheet and income statement both right so in, in if you define it in manufacturing and non manufacturing cost perspective the product cost is basically a manufacturing cost period cost is basically a non manufacturing cost but the real definition is that they hit the cost directly go to the income statement the product cost go to both statement balance sheet and income statement now the previous slide so here we go we can also classify manufacturing and non manufacturing cost based on prime cost and conversion cost based on the these are the classification based on nature of the business so what is prime cost prime cost are direct material plus direct labor and what is conversion cost direct labor plus manufacturing overhead is hard is called conversion cost so these are the classification of manufacturing cost and manufacturing cost have three classification direct material direct labor manufacturing overhead we can also classify manufacturing cost as prime cost or conversion cost now question arises why we need this prime cost and conversion cost i already gave you the example so we know that prime cost is direct material plus direct labor why we call this prime because most of the businesses their you know in the in the product cost these the combination of these cost direct material and direct labor is the major portion right conversion cost which is direct labor plus manufacturing overhead so rather talking about direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead overhead perspective you see the nature of the business if the business is manufacturing like producing product like making steel uh you know making furnitures 
so their prime cost would be highest so the managers are worried about controlling the prime cost because rent of the factory is not that enough you know indirect materials for example you know janitors cleaning agents uh, sorry sorry cleaning agents janitors salary these are not heavy cost right in 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 manufacturing factory the prime costs are direct material and direct so managers their prime role was uh, their prime role over there is to control the material cost and direct labor cost but if you talk about the conversion cost the so conversion cost is really needed in service oriented industry for example the beauty salons right the products over there cost is you know is is not that much but you know having a signature cutting signature makeup they cost a lot because their direct laborers over there they are qualified they have degrees this kind of you know stuff for example uh, you know we we'll were talking about the designer stuff if you have a boutique and somebody is designing a you know cloth for you so direct labor is going is maybe not going to so high why because you know it's just a material material cost is going to be very low and sewing that designer cloth is not that much you know it takes maybe one day or two day but designing maybe may takes 15 days or or maybe 25 days to think and to you know see on the you know computer graphics and all the stuff how it looks good or not right so their conversion cost is highest so whenever you are in service industry the managers biggest or managers are watchdog on conversion cost right so these are just basically you know another classification of of not the cost classification of manufacturing cost not the overall cost still the selling cost is there still the administrative cost is there but if you categorize on the basis of manufacturing cost we have categories like uh direct labor direct material or direct uh, or manufacturing overhead or we have categories prime cost and conversion cost depending on the nature of the business understand if you guys understand our discussion please do me a favor and answer this quick check so which of the following cost would be considered a period rather than a product cost in a manufacturing company please everyone participate 